Hello, this is John Locke, and today I want to talk about an interesting post that I saw in the Reddit forum today. And uh, so this has to do with, this person I think was trying to rank for the search term best 3D printer, uh, 2019 or best 3D printer. And uh, they had a big beef with uh, a page on the IGN.com website I, I think at the time that they put it up, like they said, it was ranking number one. But when I checked it, it was ranking number eight. Uh, and they said, oh, this is like complete garbage. Like this is not good content. This is not eat. There is no expertise or authority or anything here. Real people who um, deal with 3D printing would never recommend any of these things. This is not written well. So digging deeper into this whole thread revealed a couple things. I, I think that this person, um, maybe they were working with, or maybe they were holding up an example of uh, another page that was on a site called um, 3dprinting.com as an example of good content, of like uh, putting forward, here are some uh, 3D printers that you can buy that people who work with them every day would recommend. Uh, well, I, I took a look at what was actually ranking in the top 10, uh, and there was various pages from sites like techradar.com, all3dp.com, tomsguide.com. Um, I think there was some other ones, but those are the ones uh, that, that I remember off the top of my head. Um, but it was, it, uh, there was a couple things that really stood out to me. So this, this page that, that the original poster was talking about on 3dprinting.com, they were saying this is an example of good content because uh, these are printers that real experts would work with. This other person at IGN, they just like took some stuff from Google and put it in there. And it's bad content. I want to preface this by saying that all the domains, as far as the link profile in there, all these ones that are at the top, like Tech Radar, IGN, Tom's Guide, Tech Radar, they all have really strong link profiles, as does 3dprinting.com. But this particular page uh, that they're saying should rank higher than I think it was like number 16 when I looked. There's a couple things that I want to point out to you, and, and maybe this will help. Um, for one, it looks like you paid some kind of cut rate SEO. And we talked about this uh, in another video called $500 SEO. Looks like somebody was building links uh, using some of these cut rate methods. Because all the links that are pointing at this page that I saw in Ahrefs were definitely not contextual. They were not from other pages about 3D printing. They were just kind of tossed together. Um, they were from uh, basically pages where it looks like somebody bought a link for five bucks or 10 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever in an effort to just get a quantity of links instead of quality of links. So that's number one. Uh, another thing that I noticed, uh, even on your page, uh, is that a lot of the same models were mentioned in all the articles that are in the top of page one. Uh, some of them, maybe they're not the, the, the best, but they're more for like beginners or intermediates or hobbyists. Maybe what you're talking about is more professionals. And maybe that's where your the, the big beef was with the, the original poster talking about uh, this article that they had or that they were advocating for should rank higher. Uh, but some of these ones that were mentioned were the MakerBot Replicator Plus, the LulzBot Mini 2, Flash Forge, the Ultimaker, some of these other ones, but there were some other ones that I noticed that were more high end. And these were not mentioned in the IGN article, and I think that that's what they were taking a lot of umbrage at. So one thing that I noticed in a lot of these articles, not every single one of them, but a lot of them, is that there is a chart somewhere near the top of the article where it had a row, the top row would be the, or the side row, uh, would be all the different models. And then it would be like a, a table chart, like a HTML table with a chart comparing the different features and where they stacked up. Now, 
Also, in a lot of these articles, each, if you went down farther, there would be, uh, they would be grouped into categories like uh, here's the best, you know, five uh, 3D printers for beginners and for hobbyists and per, for professionals. And with the article that, that this person was talking about on Reddit on 3dprinting.com, I think it was like for beginners, schools, and I think it was like one other thing, but it wasn't, might have been professionals. Like we'll say it was like just uh, beginners, schools, and professionals. So on, on the ones that were ranking on page one, most of them had uh, a list of pros and cons of using this, uh, whatever the particular model was. Now the IGN article, it did not have uh, a whole bunch of like specs. And the spec uh, sheet, the spec details, that was present in most of these. Uh, when it was talking about the individual ones, both in the table and then later on down, there would be uh, some like stats, some specs on the actual model. And then pros and cons. Uh, so on the 3D printing, Dot com. There was just kind of a list of the, the different ones, but it didn't really say which was the best or why. What were the pros and cons or why? Um, it just had an image as all the other pages did. It had an image of the actual product and then the specs. But there was no real commentary as to why this would be the best for you or the, you know, not good for you. Just a list of the specs. Uh, second thing that I, another thing that I want to point out is that on your button on 3dprinting.com, what I noticed is most of the ones, the pages that were ranking above that one, they had a button that would go to Amazon. And yes, it's an affiliate link, but it would say view on Amazon or a link that would say view on Amazon. You had a big blue link, like a button link that said, here's the best price but it was a, what we call like a cloaked affiliate link. So basically, you, sometimes you'll see this like in web design or WordPress or whatever. There'll be the, the name of the uh, website and then go or recommends and then the service, but they're affiliate links. They resolve to an affiliate link. And yours was very sim something very similar uh, to that. It was not clear that you were sending people to Amazon. Now Google, actually might look at that as an example of trustworthiness. So you're talking about eat, like this is an eat. That T, trustworthiness. Uh, it wasn't clear that you were sending people to Amazon. So that might be part of it too. Um, third thing that I wanna talk about is the design of your actual page and the actual design of the site looks a little dated. Now, I, I wouldn't say this is as big of a deal as some of the other things that I stated up until now, but um, yeah, some of the ones in the top 10, the page one of Google, I don't like all the ads and the pop-ups and all that stuff, but yours has, you know, ads on the side. And when you go bigger screen, there's ones on both the left and the right, there's ads um, and different things like linking out to other pages or reviews on your website. But uh, the design does look dated. I think that you could bring it up to a more modern look and I think that might help a little bit, but I would work on the major things that I would do is get a chart, a HTML table at the top of the page that compares all the different models that you're going over with, you know, the features, what they are, the price, uh, any affiliate links to Amazon, make it perfectly clear that that's what you're doing. And when you discuss the individual models, put in the pros and cons. Who's it best for? If you're ranking, you know, this model over here is number one for schools or hobbyists, tell us why. Don't just give us the specs, but actually tell us why you think that one is the best. What pros, what cons are there to it? Uh, anything else that I want to talk about with that one? I think that's basically it. Those are the three things that stood out the most to me with this. Uh, like I said, get some legitimate links to your page, uh, clean up the design, make the affiliate links clear, get that HTML table chart at the top of the page and tell us why th these uh, are your recommendations, pros and cons. Tell us the drawbacks. Uh, but 
again, uh, you know, just all these little things kind of add up. It's, it's maybe all the other sites that are mentioning the same models. Maybe it's not what you would recommend as a 3D printing expert or maybe 3D printing professionals wouldn't use those. But a lot of people are simply looking, when they're Googling the term best 3D printer, they are a hobbyist, they are a school, and they're just looking for something like that. They're not trying to go into a 3D printing business. And I think that's something to remember about search for intent is some keywords are down market. They're not necessarily up market. So some words, most words that have buying intent are for the regular population. It's not for industrial hardcore people who are using it for um, advanced applications. So keep that in mind. Anyway, my name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. We help industrial and manufacturing companies get more requests for quotes. If you have an SEO question, leave it in the comments below and uh, we'll answer it out in a future video for you. We're publishing videos every week. We'd love to see you subscribe. Until next time, peace.